The beginning of the post-colonial development policy of the EU is marked by the Treaty of Rome, which was signed in March of 1957. It was signed by six member states, and as a result, the member states decided to create a twin package for the colonies in sub-Saharan Africa, which established a free chariot area, a small foreign aid program, and the European Development Fund. And it was mostly due to their sense of obligation and responsibility for Europe's colonial past, but also to ensure the supply of primary goods to European markets and to allow for colonies to trade and invest in European firms. This treaty ended up creating a division, a division between regionalist and globalism and globalists, um, which would characterize the EU's development policy. Regionalists, which included France, Belgium, Italy, Spain, and Portugal, sought out continued privileged relationships with the former colonies and other developing countries, while globalists like Germany, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom um, wanted to place more emphasis on poverty and development in general and not limited um, to European aid in any individual region. Uh, later, it was followed with a Yound um, agreement of 1964, which basically expanded on the Treaty of Rome and it gave more free trade among the EU and African states and increased the volume of aid substantially for the African states.